was in my laboratory. I was the poor guy who missed everything. My boss got the Nobel Prize, and another one in the laboratory got also the Nobel Prize. <laughs> and in between, I was left with nothing, OK. I took some patterns. I found that uh, research can have application, and I always considered that uh, doing good research doesn't mean that you shouldn't look application. So I looked application, and that's what makes uh, today's possible. Why? Because uh, I took some patterns, I made some startup companies, and uh, some of these uh, developments were uh, quite positive. And one day, we, uh, we did a good uh, operation, financially speaking, and with Colette, first lady as uranium, as you heard. <laughs> She's shining at night. It can be a problem. <laughs> at the beginning, I was wondering where the switch, <laughs> but I couldn't get the lights off. Now I am used to. I use uh, dark glasses. <laughs> OK. We thought, uh, now what do we do? We got some money, what do we do with it? Uh, we have enjoyed our life. We enjoyed very much. Doing research is very exciting. Research is uh, trying to understand our world. And education is trying to transfer what has been learned. And that's really the way humanity has progressed over the last few thousand years. So we were very convinced both by the values of transmissions, probably given to us by our respective families, where uh, education was an important thing. Colette uh, was in Egypt when she was young, and uh, it was a luck, I would say, that she was in a family where uh, education was important, because otherwise she would be a woman at home cooking uh, not in a nuclear uh, pot, but uh, <laughs> in a cooking pot. I don't know what the result would be. Maybe good, maybe bad, maybe dangerous. <laughs> so we decided uh, we will help continue this long tradition of transmission. And of course, uh, we decided uh, we cannot take such a decision without uh, talking to our children. So we talked to Elizabeth, Franz, and Thomas. And as you have seen, uh, they were enthusiastic. And uh, they approved. Uh, they don't say that you are uh, spoiling our future, what they are doing. They said, that's fantastic. We approve it. And we had the total, total support. The Israeli embassy was very helpful also, particularly uh, Martin Egenes, who couldn't come today, but who is represented by Irene Kandel, who is somewhere uh, here. Here yeah, she is. Uh, they have been extremely useful, helpful. Uh, it was not so easy to do the operation because we were taken by uh, a time frame which was extremely tough. Uh, when you were... Uh, carry a negotiation. You never know when the negotiation will end. And of course, I could not give what I did not have. So I had to wait until the end of the negotiation to make sure that we could do the donations. And uh, so uh, the Israeli embassy had almost uh, always somebody, day and night, next room to the negotiation room so that we could uh, operate just in the time frame which would make it uh, optimal in terms of uh, transmission. I would also thank uh, warmly uh, Gérard Worm, who was mentioned, and also Elise Donna, who was uh, very efficient in all our contacts and uh, in the preparation of uh, the whole process. Uh, she organized our visit during this uh, time where there were not so many visitors, but it was a great time and it uh, made up our decision. Uh, she has been, uh, she had this fantastic idea to uh, organize this event uh, on the same day as the Ben Gurion Commemoration Day, so it was really a gift to us that you made, and uh, it was really us who have received from you today. As I uh, 
said uh, Ben Gurion University is going through a very fast development, and uh, we are very happy to contribute. Uh, it's a chance in life. Uh, we have worked hard. We have enjoyed our work. We have uh, had some success. And of course, what has, uh, they, what has been involved, uh, hard work, some good ideas at the good time, and luck, of course. You can't do anything without luck, you have to be. So, for us, it's a kind of, uh, it's a gift both ways. The fact to be able to support is a fantastic thing for us. We have always believed in uh, education and in research. I would just uh, conclude with, uh, Colette is always worried when I start a speech, it lasts long, so uh, she looks at me. And so uh, I prefer to say I will conclude soon. <laughs> so, I don't get any nuclear race. Uh, I will conclude with three wishes. My first wishes, of course, is that Ben Gurion University will continue this impressive growth under the strong leadership of Rivka Karmi, I am absolutely convinced that it's the best possible lens. My second wish is that uh, research and education will progress all over the world. They are the only way to reduce obscurantism and extremism. And they are unfortunately not presently the leading uh, parameter. My th third wish, but uh, I don't know if I can say it's a wish or if it's a dream, at least in the short term, is that uh, this progress in knowledge and intelligence will lead to a more peaceful world and that the state of Israel will be able to live in peace among its neighbors. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.